Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and today I will dive into two popular note taking softwares, Obsidian and Logsec. I will show you the main features of both and how to be able to deal with the structure of each software. So let's get started. First of all, here is Obsidian. In order to create a new page or a new note, all what you need to do is to just click on new note here, or you can just go and click on this plus sign here and you will be all ready to go. While in order to create a new page or a new a note in uh, Logsec, th there is a still, there is some sequence of steps that you need to follow first, which is forming a local location on your device for, for Logsec. This is done by going to here on the top, click on add new graph, then select the location in which you will choose your own um, graph on your own device and you are ready to go. Here you have your journal which is like your own main page of this location. You can also add uh, other secondary pages by going to create here, click on it, choose new page, then you can write in the search bar create page and here you are. You can click on create page and you will be able to create this page. In order to visit this page anytime you can go to all pages and you can choose the page that you created just like that. So I will just call my page here to do list and I will create my to-do list like grocery. Then I will press on tab to be like a block, milk, bread. Then I will re I will press on enter twice to return back or to exit this block and I will now Insert, for example, workout, tab, then push, pull, leg. So here I have created like my own to-do list. I will do the same for um, Obsidian. Now I will go to here, to this page. And I'm going to click on create new file. Then I'm going to insert the title as to do list then I will do the same as I did before I will just insert grocery tab milk bread double enter then workout tab push pull leg perfect now you have created your own first page in order to create a whiteboard or a canva you will go to create new canvas click on it and here you are so now you can see that you have your own to-do list let's just delete this one you have your own to-do list here and you have your own white canva you can drag and drop different components like notes and files just like that in order to do the same to locksec you will need to go to whiteboards click on new whiteboard and here is your whiteboard you can add different components like add a plug or page here just by clicking clicking you will find that it's added you can also add you can also draw you can highlight you can erase you can uh, provide connectors like this one. You can add text and you can also add rectangle. So I think when it comes to whiteboard, Logsec has like an edge over uh, Obsidian. It's better and it's more creative and it's easier to access. By the way, since we already created a local a local uh, location in our device in which journal is the main page. Here you can find that all of your own components exist in one place under this journal, whether they are boards or whether they are pages. So if you clicked on all pages, you will find all the pages which are included in this journal. And if you clicked on whiteboards, you will find all the whiteboards that also exist in this journal. So they are automatically connected to each other. However, you will have to do this manually on Obsidian. You will have to create a new folder from here and name it 
journal, for example. I think there is a U which is missing, but it's not important. And then you can go and drag and drop your own components here. And this way you have linked them in a specific folder. Now there is an additional point that you need to look after that you need to you need to look at when you choose between Obsidian and Luxec, which are plugins. Plugins are accessed from um, settings, then choosing community plugins, then house, where you will find 1373 plugin which would exist in Obsidian. However, when we visit LogSec, click on more options, then choose plugins. And choosing marketplace, you will find that only 321 plugins exist. So when it comes to plugins, actually Obsidian is way more is way richer than um, LogSec it contains, like about four double the number of plugins which exist in LogSec. Now I'm going to show you how you can access the action center in both uh, Obsidian and LogSec. In Obsidian, you can go, let's start with LogSec, we can go with uh, create here, then choose new page. This will open the command center to you. So if you want to find more commands, you can click on control or you can just click on show more here and you will find all the actions with their keyboard shortcuts. You can also search for any command you want on this search bar above. However, if you want to do the same in Obsidian, you can just go to this sign, which is called Open a Command Palette, and click on it. And here you will find all the commands with the shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, and you can also search the command in here above. If you want to delete any of the pages you have created, all what you need to do is to go to its place in the right or in the left navigation menu, right click, then choose delete, and it will be deleted. However, in case of LogSec, you can go to all pages here, then check on any page of these pages, then choose delete. This is an option. You can also do the same by going to the local place that you have saved your own uh, journals or your own pages into your own uh, laptop or, or uh, desktop or whatever the device you use and you can manually delete it from the folder itself. So now you can know the main features of both Obsidian and LogSec and you can understand how to create your own nodes, your own whiteboards on both of them. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.